Good morning, and welcome to a weekly dose of prayer from Fair Bluff Baptist Church. Today is the third part in a five-part series of prayer based on the prayer Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane as recorded by Matthew in Matthew chapter 26. Picking up in verse 36, we read, Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. The third part of the prayer is called filial prayer or family prayer, and it's based on the phrase that Jesus used when he said, My Father. You know, there is nothing that we can do for our families that are more important, nothing on all of this earth that is more important than the power of praying for our families. So today, I want to give you four challenges, and I want you to just choose one of the challenges to focus on for the next few weeks. And then if you want to take another challenge after that, then you go ahead and add that challenge. But it comes in four parts. The first two parts, the challenge is to pray for your sp spouse and with your spouse every day. And the second two challenges are to pray for your children and to pray with your children every day. Now let me go over them individually uh, quickly here this morning. The first thing, you need to pray for your spouse every day. If you are married, after your relationship with God, your spouse is to be the most important human in your life. Above your children, your grandchildren, your spouse is supposed to have first place in your heart after your relationship with the Lord. I have a little book called The Power of a Praying Wife by Stormy O'Martian that has over 60 some prayers to pray for your spouse. And I use this, have used this book for years. Uh, it, it begins my prayer time for Charles to pray for his emotions, for his relationships, for his trials, for his health, uh, for his mind, for his um, uh, finances, for his work. If you do not pray daily specifically for your spouse and cover them in prayer, who do you think would spend that same amount of time covering you to be that hedge of protection around all that this world has to offer? But not only do we need to pray for our spouse every day, we need to pray with our spouse every day. It doesn't have to be a 30-minute prayer just a moment in time each day before you both leave the house, or if it has to be the last thing at night, if that's when you can both get together. But if you could just join hands and take turns, one of you pray one day, the other uh, person pray the next day. And just like Joshua, uh, in Joshua 24, where he said, you choose for yourself whom you're gonna serve, but as for me and my house, we're gonna serve the Lord. And this would just be a little prayer of commitment each morning, thanking the Lord for all of your blessings, asking for his guidance and for his protection and for his presence to surround you as a couple and your family. The third challenge is to pray for your children every day. Now we probably do a better job of this. One of the little books that I use is The Power of Praying for Your Adult Children by Stormy O'Martian. She also has the power of praying for your children and the power of praying for your grandchildren. We need to bathe our children in prayer, praying for them in the morning, all throughout the day, praying for them at night, praying for them when we roll over at night. There is no greater gift as parents that we can give our children than to cover them in prayer. And the last challenge is to pray with your children. 
If you have children or grandchildren in your home, there is nothing greater that you can do. My little Stewie wanted to come back again and, and be in part of the devotion together. There is nothing that you can do that will have more impact than praying really individually or as a group with your children or grandchildren that are there. Never let an opportunity pass that your children or grandchildren come home that you do not take the time to pray with them. I hope and pray that today you have heard Jesus pray, my Father. And every time you think of that term, you remember how important it is that we pray for our families. Stewie is not helping me be successful today finishing up this uh, video. I pray that you'll have a blessed day today, and I pray that you'll be a blessing to everyone you meet. See you next week.